All right, guys, 40th anniversary RC10 is built. Let's talk about paint. Now, if you're familiar with the RC10, you know that this is a 40th anniversary. This photo on here is the actual car from 40 years ago. However, the box is very saturated. The car is not supposed to be that color orange. It's a little bit lighter. So what I've been doing is scanning the forms and trying to get as much information as I can about which color this should be. And rumor out there is that when Associated built this car, they actually used a uh, Tamiya X6 orange, which is an acrylic paint. And the original car is still out there, minus the wing and some other details. But the orange paint has flick, flaked off. But when you look at all those photos online, it's like it's not... It's not this orange, right? It's somewhere in between all of this mess. Most of the people out there that rebuild these cars will blend some paints. And what they do is they take camel yellow, four coats, they mix it with two coats of orange, and then they get this here. And they'll back it with white or black or whatever. I used pearl white for this example. What I found is that there's another color called pure orange that nobody talks about. So what I did was the same. I took the camel yellow, four coats, added two coats of pure orange, and I got this. The results, you cannot really see anything. But after it's all said and done with, when you start going online and comparing all of these photos to the original, or all of these colors to the original, camel yellow by itself, I think, is the way to, the way to go, the way to fly. Every time I look from all different light angles and shadows and different light temperatures and daylight and cloudy day and sunlight and all that stuff. Camel yellow by itself is a way to go. So if you know of a way to blend these paints or layer them so that you can get to the X6 orange, which is acrylic, is this poly paint, then let me know in the comments. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.